How you going guys? Today in this video we're going to discuss how to set up custom conversions for LinkedIn ads. So for those that don't know about custom conversions, custom conversions essentially in digital marketing mean where you track custom objectives for customers. I mean one objective for your business might be you want them to sign up to your email list or you might want them to watch a video or you might want to get them to submit a contact form. And we can track these goals and optimize campaigns for these goals. And that's exactly what LinkedIn custom conversions are. We can set up custom conversions so that LinkedIn actually delivers our ads to people who are most likely to click on the ad and fill out our objective. And then LinkedIn also tracks these objectives. So at the end of our campaign, we can actually see how many people actually signed up to our email list or how many people actually end up buying that product that we were trying to sell. This allows us to put a quantifiable number on the money we've made or give us a real indication of how many leads we've generated from our LinkedIn ads. Let's get straight into it. Hey you going guys, today I'm going to talk you through how to set up LinkedIn custom conversions. So straight off the bat you can see that we're in the accounts, we're going to click on our ad account and that will take us through to our campaign groups. Now once here, we can go up to our account assets and click on that, and we can click on insight tag. So we have to install our insight tag onto our website so we can track our website visitors and what's happening on our website. So you can see I've installed mine down here. You can see I've got last signal received, and it says it's allowed. If you don't have that, you will have something that says manage insight tag, similar to this. We can see the tag, and you have these settings in here. If you want to install the tag yourself, you can open this and you can copy it. You then have to install the tag in your website's body tag. I'm not going to show you how to do that because it's quite complicated depending on your website builders. If not, you can send it off to a developer or you can use a tag manager like Google Tag Manager, which is very popular. So once you have that installed, you can set up custom conversions. But before we do that, we have to understand how custom conversions work. So custom conversions work by tracking where you are on the website. So say for example, my custom conversion is going to be downloading our marketing handbook. And that means the conversion I wanna track is when people enter in their email address. So we've got to set it up so LinkedIn can realize when people enter the email address. And we simply do that by creating a website where the visitor gets sent to after they enter their email address. So for me, once the visitor enters their email address here, they are sent here to the thank you page. And that means if we can track the number of people that have come to the thank you page, we can track how many people have entered their email address and therefore downloaded our marketing handbook. So, how do we go about doing that and setting that up? We have to go back into Account Assets and look into Conversions. Here we go, Conversions. If that wants to work for me, I'll try across here, my bad. So now we're in Conversions and we have to go to Create a Conversion. Now let's give it a name. For us, it will be Digital Handbook Download. And give it number two because I've already got one called that. We're going to enter our settings. Choose a type that best describes the actions you want your visitor to complete. For us, it's going to be download something, or we could also set that as a lead because they're essentially becoming a lead in our email marketing list. We're going to select download. Estimate how much the conversion is worth to your business. So, say for example, you wanted someone to purchase something on your website you can give these conversion specific values. Say someone buys a pair of shoes, you can enter the value of the shoes here, and then LinkedIn will automatically start calculating how much money you can make, how much money you have made off one conversion, and so on. But for us, we're not gonna give it a price because it doesn't necessarily have a price, because it's free. So we can leave it as zero. Set the window of time after someone clicks on or views your ad. Essentially leave this the same, don't mess with this. That's all it's saying is that if you're 30 days after someone clicks on your ad to go to a website and download the ebook and they'll count that as a conversion. 
Okay, here's an important thing, the attribution model to how each ad interacts with each conversion. So LinkedIn considers this conversion and applies it to all your LinkedIn ads. So you might have a LinkedIn ad that's running on a completely different purpose to selling this, but if the person ends up downloading this, then that account, that ad that wasn't set up for this download might get the accreditation. So I normally put it as last touch, last campaign. If you select a last touch each campaign and someone had interacted with multiple campaigns, then multiple campaigns would get this conversion. But I'm going to select last touch, last campaign. And here we go, select campaigns to track conversions. You can select all of them, which is cool because then we're tracking everything or you can select one for us. We're going to leave them all set because it doesn't hurt and define how you'd like to track your conversions. Use my site-wide inside tag is the recommended way and that's how I use. And essentially we do that like I said previously. We do that by tracking where people are and if people are, are getting to this thank you page which means they've entered their email address. So we're going to take this URL, copy it and go back here and you can see it says count conversions from people who have visited any of the following pages. So if we enter the URL here and you can see it says pages that start with this URL. So if we get rid of this here, all the pages in my website start with this URL because that's the base domain. So we don't want that, but we can change this here by clicking on it and we can have this exact URL or have URLs that contain this specified text. We're going to select these, have this exact URL and then we're going to put that URL from the thank you page into here. And now what LinkedIn's saying is LinkedIn's going to create, um, count anyone who clicks on our ad and then ends up on this thank you page as a conversion. That's what it's saying. And that's essentially what it is because they only get to this thank you page by selecting download PDF and then entering the email. So they've essentially become a conversion for me. You can simply click create and LinkedIn will set up your conversion and you can see there it is. Now, if we want to create an ad that is based on this conversion, we can go back to campaign performances. In our campaign groups, we'll just go into a campaign group and we'll set up a new campaign. And in the objective, we are going to select website conversions. Now, this means that LinkedIn is going to show your ad to people who are most likely to complete the conversion. And then when we scroll down here, we can select our conversion. And then we can put in Digital Handbook 2. And now LinkedIn is tracking the conversions of they're getting to this page here on this ad which is going to be designed for website conversions. So in this ad here, we might say, do you want to download our digital handbook? And then in this ad here, we'll send them to this page here and we'll hope that they download. I hope you guys have learned a little bit about LinkedIn custom conversions and how it works, because it's a really strong tool to have, especially if you're at that stage in digital marketing, where you need to start tracking how all these um, campaigns are working and if they're actually generating revenue for you guys. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Thanks so much guys, have a great day.